Hey everyone, I am Michal from mdbootstrap.com and today I will show you how to create a simple and professional looking logo in a few minutes for free with a little help of MD Bootstrap. Let's get started. In this tutorial I will use Material Design for Bootstrap which is a free library that greatly extends the capabilities of regular bootstrap and provides many useful features, like for example better look, additional components, free templates and even a free hosting for your projects. To download material design for bootstrap, go to mdbootstrap.com and click big blue get started button. Then click big red download button and unzip the package. Then open it in your favorite code editor. I am using Visual Studio Code. To launch MD Bootstrap project, you need to open it in the browser. You can do it simply by dragging and dropping index.html file into the browser window. If you use Visual Studio Code editor, you can also install extremely useful extension called Live Server. It enables a live reload feature, so it will refresh the browser anytime you change anything in your code, so you don't need to do it manually. At the beginning, let's remove an existing content of index.html, so that we have an empty canvas ready to start new project. Select everything in between the start your project here comments, remove it and save the file. Now we are ready to start our work. Now go to mdbootstrap.com and in a search box type logo generator and this is a hero of today's episode, a simple and completely free logo generator created by mdbootstrap. We have a several options here, let's look at them in turn. First of all, editing the text of our logo. All we have to do is to click here, enter the name of our company and that's it. The second key option is the symbol of our logo. And here, when you scroll down, you will see the icon search. We have almost 2000 icons at your disposal from which we can choose the ones that the best suit the nature of our company. So for example, let's search for an icons related to code. And then we just need to simply click on the icon and choose the icon we like. Now let's have a look at the sliders and pickers here. The first one is size. Not too much to talk about it here. So the next one is the color of a text. Then the icon color and the background of the icon. We can also add a shadow to the icon background and decide if we want rounded corners or not. The last option here is font itself. So at our disposal are hundreds of available fonts, so we can choose the one we like the most. Or we can search for it. We can also prepare our logo in dark theme version. So in this case we need to invert all the colors. So the text should be light and the background of the icon should be light as well, but the icon itself should be dark. Well, let's come back to the default version. Now all we need to do is to make a screenshot of our logo Now let's save the file. Now 
and then if you need a logo in a version without a background, that means with a transparent background, you can use a very nice tool called remove bg. So go to this address, remove.bg, and then upload your logo. Then simply download it. And now if we want to use our newly created logo with a real project, a real MD Bootstrap project, let's cut this out and let's place it inside of the directory where we have downloaded MD Bootstrap package inside of IMG folder. Let's change the name to logo and then let's come back to our project. And for a second we need to go to mdbootstrap.com in the search box, type navbar and copy the code of this basic example. Let's save the file and we will replace this mdb logo with our newly created logo. So here we have a navbar brand, let's replace this link with a path to our logo and let's see how it looks. Let's make it a bit bigger and yes, I think it looks really nice. By the way, did you know that thanks to MD Bootstrap you can use free hosting for your projects? We call it MDBGO and it's really great. Visit mdbgo.com for more information. In the description of this video, you'll also find a link to the detailed tutorial on how to use MDB Go hosting and how to install MDB CLI, which is a fantastic and free supporting tool that provides many useful functionalities. Now, let me just show you how easy it is to publish our newly created project on the internet thanks to MDB Go. I already have MDB CLI installed on my computer, so now all I need to do is to run my terminal and then I need to enter the path of the project I want to upload. So here is the directory where we have downloaded the MDB package and where we have been working during this tutorial. So let me just copy this path and let's enter this. And now I need to type only a single command MDB publish and I will choose NPM package manager and then all I need to do is to choose a name for my project. I will simply name it my logo. Then I will accept all other options. And after a few seconds, my project is available at this link. Let's see if it works as expected. And yes, it does. Extremely useful and super fast. That's it for this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you found it useful and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial.